What's up guys and welcome to another video on Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own skateboard and how to build a simple skateboard. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. And comment down below if you guys have any more uh, video ideas on things that I can do and share this video with your friends and family. Without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start off first. We're going to need uh, two pieces of wood right here. So. Um, they're about, I would say, uh, three quarters of an inch to uh, an inch thick. They're about four feet long and between 12 to 18 inches wide, but we're going to uh, cut it down eventually. The reason I have two for the actual skateboard, the base of the skateboard, is because I need, um, basically, I need it to be stronger because I did a strength test. If I put my foot right here on this one right here, it'll start bending. As you can tell, it starts to bend. If I place the other one right on top of here, like this, and then I place my foot right on top here. It doesn't bend as much. It's much um, stronger. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically glue them together. And then after that, we're going to cut it to the desired size. I'm going to be using uh, wood glue for this. And I'm just going to spread it across here. I'm going to spread it across the small one and glue it on top of the uh, large one. This one has a small crack here. Um, because again, this is uh, a basically a, a minimalist skateboard, I guess you could say. So it's just made with like simple materials we have here at home. And this was like the best wood I could find. So I'm gonna basically turn this around and glue it on the other side to like kind of have better structural integrity. Now that the wood has been covered in glue, it's time to turn it around and place it on top of the big piece of wood, so I'm just going to remove my glove for this because it's going to be a bit messy. And then you're going to want to put a weight on it, like anything heavy really works. I mean, I could be the weight, I could just sit down here and then I'll wait for it to dry. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to dry, but it does take a little bit. Solution would be also to uh, put clamps on the pieces of wood, so that's what we're going to do right now, too. And just keep it in place, hold it down in place in like the spots that are kind of loose. Put one right here, put one right here, kind of in the corners. And then you just wait for it to fully dry up. Before we go on to the cutting and modifying of the actual base of the skateboard itself, I want to show you guys what the drivetrain of the truck system of the actual skateboard will be like and how we're going to make it. So here I have uh, two caster wheels right here. Uh, not the spinning ones, just the ones that are that stay in place like this. They don't spin around at all. Um, I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the wheels. I'm just going to use this system right here, which is basically perfect for what we need to be doing here. Um, I'm going to unscrew these and I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how it's going to work. They're going to be basically pivoting on top of each other. But because they're way too far from the actual, like from the bottom of the system right here, I'm going to have to drill a hole right here in the middle to make sure that when I turn the skateboard, it's more stable than if it was all the way up here. Now that both wheels have both been taken off, I'm going to demonstrate to you how this system would work. So for the truck system, I'll just take one of these bolts, I would insert it through here, and I would, instead of just keep putting the wheel in, I would put this other one in right here and put it through here like this. And make sure it goes all the way through. Like this. And as you can see, it rotates. So the skateboard would be flat right here, and then the wheels would pivot like this. That's kind of the basic idea of how the truck system and a skateboard actually works. That's what we're going to be doing, but keep in mind that this is really tall. It's probably about four inches uh, tall, so this won't do it. So what we're going to have to do instead is we're going to have to drill a hole through the middle. 
right here. So that way instead it does this kind of motion, which is much better. A motion is much more stable motion than all the way up here. Once the glue has finally dried, the next step is to basically cut off this excess piece of wood that I don't need. And what I'm gonna do to do that, I'm just gonna use a jigsaw to cut it off and I probably may cut off just a little bit just to keep everything even. Remember to use safety glasses uh, because safety first. Here is what the truck system looks like so far. As you can tell, it can turn back and forth. Um, it is the two caster wheel pieces attached together by a nut and bolt. We had to put some spacers here. I just used some like oversized uh, nuts basically to add in the spacer in order for this to uh, thread through and stay on tight. I screwed this on really tight so that way it wouldn't move loosely because if it moves too loosely, you will lose balance when uh, riding the actual skateboard. This has to be mounted diagonally or Yes, diagonally at an angle uh, from the skateboard, from the bottom of the skateboard in order to ensure that this thing actually turns. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the slanted pieces that we're going to mount to the bottom of the actual skateboard. So as to be able to fit right here, we're going to fit the trucks right here like this. So there's going to be two pieces, one for the back one and one for the front one. I have this tool set up right here that will help me cut at a 45 degree angle, which is the angle I need. Um, you can get it at a hardware store uh, for a really good price uh, right now. So um, I would recommend uh, using this if you're uh, building this along with me. I'm using a piece of wood that's about four inches by, I would say, uh, three inches or so, um, or two and a half, sorry, four inches by about two and a half inches uh, thick, basically. And this is uh, six inches long. Um, it doesn't need to be this long as the actual like truck is only like four inches. So it needs to be at least I'd say four and a half to five inches just, just to stay on the safe side and that way the screws won't go. We'll go all the way through and won't like go out to the side. To build the full truck system, these are all the materials that you are going to need. This is what your finished product should look like right here. Now it's time to place both of these trucks onto the skateboard. If you've made it this far in the video, don't worry, you're almost there. This is the second to last step of building your own skateboard. So here I have both truck systems already fully built. I have two clamps here, a screwdriver, a drill, and some wood glue. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna attach the truck systems to the skateboard. Um, if you noticed, you haven't noticed already, I've kind of modified the design of the skateboard over here. Um, I decided to make this narrower because if I didn't, the uh, trucks, or the, the wheels would basically hit against the skateboard. So this is six inches wide, the width of the uh, piece of wood that the truck is attached to. And then they, the angles around here are about maybe like 
45 or so degrees, a little more than that. So this would be a 135 degree angle. So this is uh, the distance from here to here is 10 inches, and that's going to be essential because we're, that's where we're going to be basing off our location of, or where we're going to be placing the trucks. Where we're going to be placing the trucks is right here. Take the edge of this and place it right here. Make sure that it's lined up correctly, and this is going to be its place where it's going to be. So it's going to be lined up to right where it starts slanting out the other way. So right about here. And it's going to be the same for the other one. You have to make sure the trucks are facing out this way. So it's got to be pointing that way. The trucks are going to be pointing that way. Do not angle it this way, angle it that way. If you angle it the other way, it won't sear properly. So do it uh, this way, like this. Once you have it uh, set up, what you want to do is you want to take your glue and place glue here, plop it down in the right place, take your clamps and clamp it and leave it there for a few minutes. The glue recommends to leave it there for like 30 minutes and leave the joints unstressed for 24 hours. But since we're going to be screwing uh, from the bottom, we're going to be screwing four screws into the truck system to make it stronger. Um, we won't need to wait that long. I will show you guys how to screw it in later in the video. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue both of them. Well, first I'm going to glue one and clamp it down to keep it tight. Then I'm going to glue the other one, do the same to the other side. And then I'm going to put four screws into each truck to make sure that this is completely safe and sturdy. Personally, my favorite step is to add in the tires to the skateboard and after this we'll be ready to test it out you're gonna need four of these tires these are 10 inch pneumatic tires we don't need those little skateboard tires after all this is an off-road skateboard so we're gonna be using these you can get these at a hardware store or online for probably between five to seven dollars uh, tops um, so I mean they are a bit on the expensive side but not extremely expensive all right, you're also going to need four nuts. Um, in case you didn't know, this rod is 5 eighths of an inch because this hub is 5 eighths of an inch. So you're obviously going to need 5 eighths inch uh, nuts in order to screw this in. Since the hub, this hub right here is going to go on the inside, so I'm going to put it through here like this. And that's how it's supposed to go. And then you're going to take your nut and then you're going to screw it in. All right, all the wheels are on. The question is, does this thing even work? Um, it's time to test it out. There's only one way to figure out, so this is the first time I've ever built this thing, so let's figure it out. Here is the finished skateboard. I'm gonna stand on it, see how it feels. It turns, kind of, sort of. Now let's actually test ride it. I mean it rolls, so let's test it out. This, uh, the board was extremely unstable when I was riding it, but adding in these springs just made it more stable. It was something I overlooked in the design of this board. And since this is a mountain board with, you know, off-road tires, I might as well do try it off-road. So here's the official test of it working off-road. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going.
hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially videos on tutorials similar to this. Drop a massive like on this video, comment down below what you thought of the video, and if you guys have any other video ideas for me to make, I am more than welcome to take some of those in. And don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. I appreciate you guys for your support as always. Thank you for watching.